new battery and that battery is going to die pretty soon. Okay. Did you turn it on? Uh huh. And you made sure it's on? No. Make sure it's on. Yes. Never did look past that rain. Looking out a well window pane. Too many raindrops hitting. Never did look past that rain. But there's a rainbow in it. Trust yourself and get with it. Stuck in hell is in living. Stick to the movement. This is a you just let the past burn out. Okay, so I'm finally getting around to uh, getting the canvas on the camper. Um, so I've got, I've cut up, cut some pieces to put on the bottom of the camper. So I'm going to get that done first. Um, and I've done this a few times, and I've never pre-shrunk my canvas, and I've never had a problem. But a lot of people online say to pre-shrink your canvas, and they do it by washing and drying it. Um, you can also pre-shrink canvas by hosing it down and letting it dry naturally. Um, they say if you do that, you want to do it about three times to get it fully shrunk. But I don't want to fully shrink the canvas because I want it to stretch a little bit and get tight on it. That's that, that's how you keep from getting the having problems of air bubbles and that. You want that canvas to actually shrink a little bit when you're installing it, um, so it pulls tight. So I've hung it up. On the clothesline, these are the two pieces I'm going to put on the bottom, and uh, we're going to hose them down, let them dry, and I'm only going to do this once. That way, it'll still have a little bit of ability to shrink a little bit more once I install it. So let me get the hose out. So we'll let it dry a little bit now, or dry all the way, and then it'll be ready to put on the on the camper. All right, so here we are. We've got it laid on its side. So that up there is, see that's the right side, right? Or left side, I guess that's left side. Because uh, this is the back and this is the bottom. So this is what we're going to be working on. Um, I did do some prep work. As you can see, I kind of filled some of the screw holes. Some of the cracks got filled in. Um, just helps uh, keep the canvas laying nice. I don't know how much prep work I really need to do with 7 ounce canvas. I think it's pretty, pretty much will take care of itself. Um, but I got this corner here uh, nice and smooth. So what we do, we'll lay the canvas in two sheets from top to bottom. Seam will be right in here somewhere. Um, we'll do one side. Yeah, then we'll do the other side. Um, I decided to go top to bottom because it's on its side and I think it's going to be a little, little easier. Uh, than trying to drape it along the lengthwise. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. All right, so the plan is I've actually taped it up top there and just draped it down the side, like so. So the plan is, we're gonna see if this is gonna work is uh, hopefully I'll be able to work from the top 
down. Maybe. I'm actually not quite sure. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I chose to do the bottom first. Now, one thing I didn't I mentioned is I did some prep work, but I wasn't perfect on it. I left some screws um, showing, like right there. Um, and I'm starting with the bottom to kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. Um, I want to know how much prep I really need to do. If I end up with some screws showing through on the bottom, it doesn't really matter. But then I'll know that I need to cover them all on the top. So we're going to see how this goes. So here we go. All right, so I got the first canvas on. You can see the edge right here. Colors kind of off because of the lighting. It's getting dark out. But yeah, so I got that on. Where well, actually worked pretty good. It wasn't that that difficult. Took a, took three stages. Went to about here with the first stage. About there with the second, and then all the way to the bottom. Yeah, worked out really good. I didn't wrap it around the edges here at all. Um, I'm actually going to cut it off right at the edge right up here and all along here and on the bottom um, and then when we bring the sides in the sides are actually going to be wrapped over oh I don't know inch or two maybe maybe about that far it's on the bottom so I don't care about any of the seams all right so we got the second side of the bottom on so I'd said the first side went really smooth. Yeah, this side didn't go quite as smooth. The importance of slowing down and taking your time. Um, I said with the first half I did it in three sections. You know, one, two, three. Well, this one I did the first section. And then when I did the second section, I got in a hurry and went all the way to the bottom. And then when I laid the canvas on, yeah, I wasn't stuck. So I had to pull it all up, mix up a bunch more glue and work fast before it dried on the canvas and stiffened up the canvas too much. But luckily I was able to get it laid down and it looks pretty good. So uh, I did learn my lesson to slow down and take my time. What you doing, Iris? Iris, what you doing? No, don't eat. Iris, no. I'm trying to eat the glue. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so really quick, I've got the top here laid out. Actually, not the top. I mean the side because it's laying on its side. So I got the side laid out for the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and get it glued down, but I want to show you guys a little bit how I do this get the lighting fixed on this camera all right so I just I got it all kind of rough cut it it's not exactly perfect so what I've got is I got tape here and here along the sides here that's kind of holding it down in place um, I'm gonna start about here yeah about there and work my way back now what I'm gonna do is I'm only going to glue the surface here down. I'm not going to do the sides yet. What the idea is, is I'm going to get this glued up to the edge. And then after that all dries, I'm going to actually do a real cut on it and get, I'm trying to get some nice seams. Um, now this side's the bottom. I don't really care about the seam on this side, but on the back and the top, and the front, mostly the front and the back. The top doesn't even really matter so much because uh, oh, you can't really see the top. All right, so I'm kind of waiting for, uh, it's like really hot and sunny out and the glue dries too fast when, when it's too hot out. So I'm kind of waiting for a break in the, in the blue sky, get some cloud cover. It's supposed to rain later today, so I want to get this down before that starts. And I can cover it back up with the tarp. New battery, and that battery is going to die pretty soon. Okay. 
you turn it on? Uh-huh. And you made sure it's on. <laughs> no, it's turn it off. Yes. My head's a miss. I'm keeping the smile, but I'm in this dress. So what's the meaning? Just give me something. for all canvas and painted so that that concludes the painting the canvas part um, but the weather's been kind of either super hot or super rainy so we've been working really fast with little breaks and I haven't gotten a lot of footage but here's a completed project or product as far as the outside canvas is um, as you can see we've got we got it all painted with a with a nice uh, what do they call that? Nice um, design on the side of it. And it's all canvassed now. So now what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the inside, finish up the inside. Now the trailer's already sitting on the frame, but the next video is gonna come. Uh, next video I do is gonna show putting the axle, the fenders, and getting the camper on the frame. So stay tuned for next time.